Alright, we're back playing Fallout 4, and we're gonna go to the command deck. And see what this guy has to say. We're on an airship, guys. This is so cool. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yay! I get to take their things! We've got a fuzzy coat. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. I want your and coat. most impressive, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose. And on the, beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb they call their creation, the Sith. A robotic abomination of technology that is free thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the Atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and I'm with you. They stole my baby. Will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Sir. Watch your step on the flight deck. You are a very attractive man. I like you. Hi. I want your coat. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Good. I can see that. They're playing with fire, and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the- oh, shut up, Piper! Don't worry. I'm convinced. Paladin Dance's reports were quite clear regarding your feelings toward the brother. And he concludes that you'd be an asset to us. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. Didn't Paladin and Dance already do that? Befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power. <gasps> yay! You yay! 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 Where <laughs> I'll do my I'll best. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Will do. I want your jacket. Can I take it off you? I have a personal storage container! <gasps> I like this place, I like this place, I like this place, I like this place, I like this place. I like this place. I'm actually doing a dance in my chair. On the promotion, right, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on. Nothing in the metal box. Hi! I'm proud to be serving under Elder Maxi. I had enough of lions in his foolish ways. Door? Door! This is some someone else's things. Elder Maxon's terminal. I'll not use Elder Maxon's terminal. I'm not a snooper. I want those shotgun shells now. What's in here? Straw pillow. Hmm. What's that for? It's for sleeping on, actually. Take those stim packs. Ammo boxes. Can't get enough ammo. Oh, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that, rather. Hi, Pelican.
paladin dance. I have a personal box up here somewhere. It told me to open my personal box. Report to paladin dance. Is it under miscellaneous? Yes, it is. Where is my personal container? It's up above. Ooh, okay. I will How did it look out there? talk to you in a second. Yeah, personal box. You're in my bed! You asshole. That's my bed. What the fuck? Yay, okay. Um, Paladin Dance. There. Try it now. Nothing. Where's my power armor? Is this my power armor? Can't fix it. I can fix it. Can I just steal all of the fusion cores? Shit, 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 shit. I didn't mean to get in it. There it is. I didn't mean to get in it. Thanks, brother. I owe you. I just meant to steal the fusion core. Taking it. Ugh. Oh, I only get the one. Come find me when you're done checking in with Max and Dance. Oh, I should put the power core back in. Fuck. Oh, well. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Max? Great! He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I won't let you down. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Okay. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along. Sure, let's go. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. Um, you can go... Back to Sanctuary Hills. Yeah. Bye, Piper. I think I won't bitch about fucking everything now. Bye! Alright, let's... Check out what I can... Let's do Cap Collector. Yes, yes. And I think... Ooh, I'll Black Widow it up. Talk to Proctor Ingram. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. That's okay. Sound disappointed. Sounds like you're disappointed. And not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, you may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram. And this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the third one's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Okay. I will do that. While you're at it, my car's making this weird grinding noise when I back it out of the driveway. <laughs> you're gonna have to take a number. <laughs> goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. I understand. I understand. Good. Anyway, 
I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a right, still... decent T60 suit sitting in bay three that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, you'll excuse me. I need to get back to work. Okay. I'm assuming that's the one that I stole the power core out of. Remember, we're out here representing the Brotherhood. Make them proud. We'll do. We'll do. We'll do. Respect to the Brotherhood and everything. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't mind. There's a nuke back there. Uh. Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. This is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. Good stuff. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. That's great to know. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. Well, I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, and they give me the stink of it. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. Sounds good. I could use some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. Just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. Okay. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Will do. For the most part, I'll probably just be buying ammo. Ugh. Weapons workbench. Carry food with you, or you'll end up eating some pretty questionable things to stay alive. Well, I've got lots and lots of food on me, so. Oh, we need to be upstairs. Okay, we'll be back upstairs. I'm sorry. Sorry, dance. Set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. The books? What are you doing with all these books? I suppose I could stop working for a moment to address your question. Sure. Makes sense to get rid of the trash. Well, I'm pleased you agree. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew. You were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. I can help. Maybe I could lend a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Proctor? Please, finish your introductions by all means. But I do hope you'll consider assisting me when you're done. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? No. Sure. Yes. Sure, go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. Okay. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? No. We 
Wouldn't vault tech screening process have caught this already? Vault tech screening process? Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. It's okay. Okay, second question. Have a mistake. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Not that I know of. Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? <laughs> I wonder if you romanced um uh Hancock if this is a if you get a different answer for this. But no, not yet. No, never have. Very well. <laughs> Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? That's more of a morals question, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I feel that the mental state of the crew is just as important as the physical. Anyone that hesitates firing in combat due to misguided moral standards certainly isn't Brotherhood material. So what about you? Did you have a problem with it? I suppose so. Good enough. Excellent. <laughs> I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Will do. We did it. Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. There's a kitty on this boat. Oh, he's playing with the paper. Dance, you have a kitty. You never told me about the kitty. Everywhere good has a kitty. Meow. 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 Okay. Night. Oh, kitties. I like cats. Where are we going? Oh, we're going out here. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Oh, yay. I'm so happy in this place. Watch your step, man. Oh, thanks. You're so sweet. Greetings. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridman's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, sister? Sure am. Just point me to the action. I applaud your enthusiasm. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take yes. a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Fort Strong. Those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells. <gasps> Ooh. Wipe out everything that moves. And secure that stockpile. Understood? Uh, smiles. Consider it done. Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow them to bomb <laughs> the nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that nightmare film. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty vehicles from the face of the earth. Dismissed. I really like you, Maxon. I really like you. I want like a billion trillion pieces of fan art of you. All the fan art. All of it. I want your outfit so bad. Get on that gunship, I want Fort Strong. Right, 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 right. Sorry, sorry. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. But we're gonna have to do it in the next episode. Ooh. I'll see you next time.